everyone, mango 7 roll here. How we doing today? Welcome to another episode of our tutorial account. This is going to be episode uh, number two. If you missed number one, go check that one out first before you do this one. Um, as a side note, I really appreciate all the subs and likes and comments on these videos because it helps get new players into the game and helps get them information that they so desperately need. Uh, this video itself is kind of a weird one. It jumps all over the place because we unlocked literally everything. So it's just like every two minutes something new unlocked and I had to talk about it. So it's just like flipping back and forth. I'd also like some opinions on team compositions you'd like to see going forward. Um, so that's something I'd also like to see. And other than that, just uh, sit back, enjoy, and um, hopefully laugh a little and hopefully learn a little. So uh, enjoy this video, folks. Okay, we're at our second login day now. Uh, I didn't do my dailies yesterday. Uh, I stopped right as we started upgrading things. We're just going to do our usual thing, check our Heart of Orbis, and then just go grinding. We've got some mail, which seems exciting. Ooh, 100k gold. I'll take that. I love how um, this level 7 character has 1.350 times the gold that, uh, not even 1.35, that's like a thousand times the gold my main has right now. Um, we also have a daily summon, we'll get that out of the way. Um, anything could be good at this point. Uh, it's a character, something like Alina would be so fun. It's a big world filled with strong people. That's what makes life fun. Am I actually a god? Like at this point, I'm I'm unsure what to think about uh my mind because I just don't even I don't even understand how that happens. Like what even are the odds of that? Um so at this point, we can't really put Lena on the team, right? I feel like we should try her because she's pretty good and I want to see how she performs on a zero level uh, account but I'm not taking out either and I'm not taking out cigarette and I'm not taking out carrot so I guess I mean that leaves bruised um Jesus uh okay so let's let's put it let I cannot believe that just happened that is so funny that is the funniest thing I also kind of want to use um I also kind of want to use Leo because somebody asked me to use Leo, uh, but I'm not sure I'll want to just because the, the Molagora is tough. Uh, so Leo does a 25% chance to stun, um, decreased defense down here, and a chance to use Sparrow Dive, which is another stun, and the third one is another stun. So that's actually like really good. Um, that is really good. Maybe, maybe we'll use Leo. You know what? We're going to use Leo instead of Carrot. We've already used Carrot a thousand times. Um, we're gonna use this team right now. This is going to be Leo, Lena, Jesus, I cannot believe we just got Lena, um, Aether, and Sigrid. I still think I'm gonna have to move Aether out of the tank spot, but, um, for now, this is what we get. So, we are going to take some gear off of you. It was a long road together, Ruzid. It was a really, really long road together. Um, you know, maybe next time we can have a little little bit of fun time together. Um, also, we're going to take this off of carrots. <laughs> These people didn't even get a, get a chance. They were just gone instantly. Um, so Leo here, we kind of just want him as fast as possible. So we're going to put these absolute speedster boots on. They've got two speed. Uh, not much else we can do about that. There's one speed on that one, too. Holy, can we get, like, another speed sub? Ah, oh, we can't. That's really too bad. So we'll just go with attack percent instead. That also gives us the step bonus. And then out of these ones, um, we will stick with the attack set just because I feel like... Ooh, speed! No, that's really dumb. <laughs> we'll go like this. Uh, okay, so that's what Leo's going to be like right now. And as for his artifact it really just doesn't matter right now um just toss something random on there and then lena here i believe her skills all scale off of attack um yeah it doesn't doesn't mention anything so it scales off of attack outside of her third uh scaling off enemies lost health too so the reason why i wanted lena is because she just came out and she's a farmer of sorts and i haven't figured out how she farms yet i mean i i know how she farms obviously but I'm really curious to see how she works uh, instead of Vildred. 
So her first one is a 20% combat readiness increase on her skill one. Um, passive 30% crit chance increase, which is honestly massive at this stage of the game. Like absolutely ridiculously massive. And it can be boosted up to 50%. And the other one is an AoE attack decrease in combat readiness before increasing the attack of the caster. Uh, we have no attack buff either, so that's really good here. Um, really cool. And I believe if you awaken it, which we can't even see right now, it gives her an extra, not gives her an extra turn, it resets her cooldown if she gets a kill. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you something you don't have to do, but it will help out your early game quite a little bit, I think. Um, so what we're going to do is go back to 1-5, and you can do this basically right at the start of the game. Um, I'm only in chapter 2 dash one right now and that is it um so when you clear Terrell castle you have to go in a second time to unlock the secondary entrance or exit i should say and you can lead your way out here to east terranor um this actually brings you to the very last map and you can make your way to a dalberg field which is a labyrinth a place where you have to kind of explore yourself and um you can get an item from it which is just exactly what we want so we're gonna go in here uh, and get carried by somebody else's character. Um, and it's going to be glorious. I'm not sure if we can get the item the first time in. Um, but okay. we can try. Uh, we might have to take two runs to do this. And I might have to use a different friend for this. Um, but we're just going to use uh, Wraith's ML Ken. And it's going to carry us for sure. Um, you need somebody very strong. Probably somebody with lifesteal. And uh, it should be no problem. Like any A Ravi, any ML Ken that isn't terrible. Just anything at all, basically, that uh, can survive these people. Even like a Lorena on um, Lifesteal would be enough, too. Uh, no way you'll be able to do this yourself, but again, pretty easy to find a friend that will help you out. Even in my Discord, if you asked, I'm sure somebody can help you out there. I will be able to be um, so we're just going to follow this way here and try to unlock the area. I think it unlocks in one of these two spots and then we're going to move up to the top uh, and get the chest which I believe is right here. So once we get to this area here we just talk to Terranor Guard and this opens up this slot right there. So um, now we're free to go get the item which is just an insane item at this point in time. Um, it's kind of funny how they let you get this this early. I guess you could continue to go backwards and get some other really good items, but it's just, why do that when you can just push through? But this one is just right there. There's just no reason to grab it. No reason not to grab it, I mean. Okay, and here's the chest right at the end here. We pick it up, we get our Pegasus boots. Really, really great pair of boots. You'll probably be using these for like, 60 levels or so um, on your main DPS. I'm going to put mine on my Sigrid. Uh, if you have like a Vildred or something, it might go on that. If you have somebody you just want fast, you might go on those too. Um, even great for something like Ken, if you wanted to be a little bit faster. Uh, it's going to be just leagues and leagues ahead of anything else you can possibly get at this point, which is awesome. Also, we just got a Ring of Glory, which is nice. Anytime you get Catalyst, do a little victory lap around your mind because uh, it adds up and you need so many of them. Oh, so flippin' many. And stage is complete. You have just enough to do this uh, in one run, so make sure you get her done. Fill the Monster Journal too. Go us. Um, we've got a Ring of Glory, which was a lucky drop. And then we have, most importantly, Pegasus Boots. So these have three pretty solid substats, and the main stat is 7 speed. If you ever want to know how much speed this is going to have, or how much any stat uh, in the main stat there is going to have at plus 15, you just times it by 5, so this one is going to have 35 speed as a main stat as 15, which is just something you're going to be using forever. Um, pretty awesome of them to let this be obtainable at this point. At level 10, we get to unlock guilds. This is something you should join right away. Um, you're gonna want to join one. It just gives a bunch of little extra rewards. Um, you're probably gonna join one that has like nothing in it and people are gonna be requesting catalysts, which you never ever wanna give them just as a heads up. Um, we would need to find somebody that's automatic. So for accepting here. So I'm not even sure how to how to join somebody. Um, we have Lude. Nice. So we want somebody with uh, member acceptance. 
auto. There we go. So we're just going to join a random... Random Discord right now. Discord guild. Uh, hopefully we don't get kicked. And the goal of this is just to get a bunch of extra rewards a week. If they... Uh, Compete in Discord, that's good. If not, that's good too. Uh, again, you never, ever, ever want to fill in these requests. It's just not worth it. But what you can do to try to scam them of some stuff is just request some aid uh, because they're not going to fill in aid of catalysts, so don't request those. But if you toss in like a frost rune or something like that, they might fill that up, which is awesome. Um, I would also not donate your gold either. Um, but if you can try to get enough for this brave quest this brave crest these 250 of them for molagora seed that would be fantastic uh this is a once a week thing and something you need to get every week if you can um there's a bunch of quests here a lot of these are not going to be available for you until uh i would say a little bit later once you unlock some more storylines and stuff wow they're introducing us to everything at level 10 right now so the next thing we're gonna see is going to be side story these are probably one of the most important things to get done and one of the only things i would put off your main story to get done um just because the amount of rewards you get from them is just insane um your main story is going to be there but this is not going to be there every time if we look at the exchange here um there's epic catalysts which are just one of the most important things in the game there are regular catalysts there's a molagora seed there's a phantasm um, which is used for promoting uh, your units. There's a bunch of runes which are used for awakening. Most importantly, there's some summons in there. Um, you've also got some penguins there too, which you want to sell for those transmit stones. And you've got the ever important greater artifact and lesser artifact charms. So all of these basically need to be farmed except for maybe the runes, unless you're really early and then these runes will help you out. Um, I'm undecided if I'm going to be farming this event or not, because I kind of just want to make it so... I farm the main story and that's it. Um, so I'm undecided on if I should do this. And there's also the quest you can do. Gets a four-star artifact ticket, a bunch of other rewards, and then your typical region rewards as well. So I'm going to be putting the uh, crit rate Pegasus boots on Leo right now just because I can't make an attack crit set on Sigret. Um, and I feel like having Leo go first to get some flying Raku action off is probably the best bet. Um... So we're just going to toss basically everything into these. Uh, that's actually not bad, too. That was a decent drop. And every three substats, we get something plus. So we are hoping for um, attack or crit chance. Nice. Pretty solid roll. Pretty solid roll. So that's really good. And anytime we can get more of those, we're going we're gonna to be upgrading that straight away. 100% of the time. Also, let's take a look at the packs right away, too. We have the two newbie packs. Um, one of them has a bunch of penguins and skystones for a dollar. I mean, a dollar is a dollar. If you want to support the game, that's good. Uh, that would be a decent boost, but really um, not much special there. Uh, as for newbie pack two, we've got 10 bookmarks, 300 skystones, 400k gold. It'll help. It's seven bucks uh, or even less than that for you. I'm guessing these are um, 4.99 and 99 cents for the US people. Um, as for the other uh, packs, they always kind of rotate. I would not buy the Moonlight Packs, I would not buy the Charm Packs, I would not buy the Monthly Summon Packs. Um, this one I would buy, $3.99, good to support the game. You've got uh, a bunch of Sky Stones, a bunch of Bookmarks too. There's also the Rank Up Packs if you're looking to buy something and looking to spend a bit more than a couple bucks, this is absolutely worth it as well. Uh, there's also Rank Up Pack 2 and 3 I believe, and both of those are also going to be worth it too. And then there's the two monthly packs, which just give you a bunch of rewards over time and also a little boost to XP and a little boost to gold, 10% and 5% respectively. Both of these are worth it, and they're currently the only things I'm buying in the game. I'm just keeping these two monthly packs up, which comes up to, um, I would assume, 15 US dollars for you guys, and it comes out to uh, about $22 for me in Canada. Uh, Mystic packs are whale packs. These are if you want to go... Just hard on the game, uh, buy these, buy them all out and just get your Moonlight 5-star units. Gold packs I would not buy either, and leaf packs are just like desperation packs too. So um, I hope that kind of underlines what I think about the packs here, and that's what I would stick with for sure. 
There's also events. So if we stick at this banner at the top, we can find usually one at a time. It'll have a banner for event here. The current one is Destina's Monster Rescue. These are one a day things and they'll reset every um, reset time, which is 2 a.m. PSD for me. So if I adventure five times, I arena five times, I hunt one time, and then I complete all the missions, I will get 100 energy and also get those three things there. And then we get to play a little mini game and get a bunch more rewards. And then finally, after we play the little mini game a bunch of different times, we get all of these things too. So let's go um, clear out some stuff and we'll be back with our bonkers team now. I guess our team's pretty good. Our next area we're going to go to is the spirit altar section just for our daily right now. Um, there are basically three places I like to farm on Spirit Altar. Um, one is just stage three, and this is if you're going for the basic dark runes. This is also the easiest stage and the fastest to do your daily on. Two is what I would say is um, seven. Uh, seven is where epics start to drop, and um, it's really worth it to start stocking up on epic gems. And uh, a lot of people will have infinity epics and basically zero uh, are the graders for a while, and that's okay, it'll balance out eventually, just um, keep that in mind when you're farming. And finally, I like to move up to 10 after that. So those are the only three I would realistically farm unless I was forced into doing it another way. There's also double rune drop rate days that happen every so often. This is a day you wanna spam as much as you can, especially if you can do 10 at that point, because it'll save you so much stamina in the long run. It's kind of ridiculous how much stamina it will save you doing these. Um, so three, seven, and ten are my favorites. Hey, and we finally hit the Labyrinth Adventures Pass, so we're going to get into that here. This is something you get three Labyrinth Tokens um, max, and you respawn one of them a day. You can also buy one extra from the guild, and I believe you can buy one extra, maybe more, from um, the shop, but I don't think that's worth doing. Um, so we're going to go in here. I'm just going to briefly show you uh, the routes to take and why to go certain ways and what parts of the map means. And it's different on each one. You can find maps of it online. I've actually done videos of it. Maybe I'll link that in the description there too. But the first thing we're going to do is open up the map here. We can see there's a locked gate right here. Um, we can see that there's an exit here. So as we talked about before, if we... Um, oh, stop. Stop. Wrong direction game. Um... If we exit at this way right here, we're going to unlock this uh, next stage. If we exit up in the top right or the bottom right or the middle middle right, whatever uh, section that is, it's not going to give us to the next stage. So keep that in mind um, when you're exiting. We also see two sections here, one right here in the middle uh, top right and one in the bottom left. Both of these are very likely to be chess as well. There's also a little exit here, um, but this doesn't look like a chest would be here, so maybe there's an NPC or something like that to talk to. Um, so let's get going. Uh, also, morale is something you need to keep in mind. That's the number in green over there, and that is uh, different depending on what team you have. You really need a morale calculator for that. One of those things uh, where I'll just leave a link in the description below. Um, you shouldn't really consider it too much or worry about it too much at the early stages, but... Um, it's there if you need it. Okay, so I have the epic7tools.com lab optimizer open. Um, and I added the five people I'm using on my team. I accidentally brought Carrot instead of Aether here. Um, so what I did, search the heroes here, add it to the team. And these are the five heroes on my team. And then I calculated the morales right here. And you can see the list of people that I could potentially use and the teams I could potentially use. Um, so my highest team with the one I have right now is going to be Carrot. Lena, um, Leo, and Sigrid, and this is going to be Lena, Joyful Memory, and Sigrid, Advice. So what we're going to do is just click our camp here, and we're going to follow that uh, advice there. Uh, we're going to do Lena, Joyful Memory. I run straight to the woods every day after magic class to learn martial arts. That was the happiest time of my life. He hates magic. Um, and then we go to cigarette advice, and this will give us the most morale for the units we have right here. Shadow. No, you're not in anybody's shadow in this playthrough, cigarette. We also have our first treasure chest here. It's going to be sky stones. Um, that usually means this one over here is going to be an item. Also, one of the best places to get your equipment really early game is going to be through the labs like this. 
I, I think there's one piece per each of the stages of the starter labyrinth, so you'll get um, a set called Uberids, which is just fantastic for early game. One of those ones you should probably bring to plus 15. Um, ASAP, I would say. I seriously hate you. <laughs> I hate him so much. Um, okay, so we can exit the camp right here, but we've got a ton of morale left, and we want to milk these morales as much as possible. If we click on here, um, it gets really dangerous at minus 31 to minus 49, so I'll push as far as I can and get as much as that done as I can before I teleport back. Um, and to teleport back, you just click on the place in the map that has a portal and uh, make my way back. So we'll see how far we can push here. I don't think we'll be able to make it to the um, second chest this time. So we'll come right back in after this just to get that chest. We've also met our good dear friend Hoochie, the greatest merchant in all the lands. Hoochie's shop refreshes once a day. Um, and this is generally the easiest one to get to, which is in 1-1. Um, usually what I do to check this out is I teleport right here in the top right and then I just walk my way down to Hoochie here. So if we click this up, he's selling bookmarks, charms right now, um, and an epic catalyst. So we are essentially going to buy every single charm and leave everything else. If he has covenant bookmarks, we're going to buy those too, um, but we're not going to buy the catalyst or anything else. Um, we're just going to stick with those charms and we'll do that every day as well. He uh, kind of steals your... Um, kind of steals all of your resources, but it's worth it. Those charms save you a lot of money in the long run when you're upgrading gear. I think we might actually make it to the chest, which I'm really excited for. We have minus 20 right now. We're going to get minus 27 from this fight. And then if there's one more fight, we'll go to minus 30 something, whatever, which means we'll die basically instantly. But it shouldn't matter because we've already got uh, to the chest. So... Here's hoping we've got just okay. enough stamina or just enough morale to be able to do this with this team. God, I love Sigrid, by the way. She's just been so much fun to use. 27, 28. Yeah, we're going to just make it to the ch this chest. That's exciting. Uh, there is a boss here, but I'm not really worried about it. We're going to use the Doggo, too, to finish it off. Doggos are really, really powerful. Wait, here I go. Easy. Okay, nice. And we go up here to get this gold chest. This gives us Ubrid Spear, which is a really, really great weapon early. I can also do stupid things right now, um, like try to push for one more chest or something like that. But we see there's uh, an enemy right there, so we're gonna just we're gonna just exit now. So we're gonna exit at area two here, so we don't have to come back in. And we can take a look at our Uberids, which is just such a great item for this stage. Not just super great item. Um, attack, speed, crit chance, and effectiveness on it. That is going straight on our Sigrid here. Um, and we can also go explore zone 2 now, which will give us another item. But we're going to do that after we equip this here. Our next adventurer's path is spend 40 ancient coins. So we're going to go do that right now. At the start of the game, we used to buy accessory chests, but it's not something we do anymore, and I don't think it's worth doing at this point either. So I'm just going to buy um, a ring charm, I guess. Uh, either ring, necklace charm, either of these are going to be worth buying. I have no accessories yet, so it's not worth it. But I do know um, there's going to be an awesome ring and an awesome neck coming up in this next little area that I'll want to max. So absolutely worth putting your uh, coins there. <laughs> hey, we've unlocked the Forest of Souls, another place unlocked in our sanctuary here. Um, let's just follow the shenanigans they want us to go through. Forest of Souls. Ooh, I just got really excited for something. I just remembered Elson got buffed, so I can actually use Elson on my team instead of Aether. That is so exciting. I totally just noticed that as I saw Alexa there. So we're probably going to be replacing... Um, either with Elson just to try to get some buffs up and to try to not have three water units. So this is going to be the um, Force of Souls. This is something you just passively make stuff all the time from. Um, you can use your Stigma here as well, although it's not really as recommended as it was before. 
Um, we can make some penguins, and penguins are used for the daily, so you want to do at least one of those every day. As for improving the building, Soul Isle Extension is a must-have. It's probably the most important upgrade in all of Orbis, I would say. Um, so absolutely do this first. Your next two should go into Soul Extension Isle for sure. Um, and then at this point, I'm honestly not sure, because it depends on how fast you get your other Breath of Orbis is. But before, I would always get Time Blessing because this re reduces the time by 15%, I believe, um, it takes to make stuff. And this one gives you a chance for uh, higher grade penguins, which I personally don't like doing because it just didn't feel worth it to me. But I will be unlocking Soul Owl Extension first, and then I'm going to decide on Time's Blessing. I'm not sure yet uh, what I plan to do for it. Um, I think it wants me to raise a penguin, actually, as the next thing. Yeah, we have to raise a penguin. So we're going to use uh, Stigma to raise a penguin here. I don't like doing this because uh, we need our Stigma right now. But we'll do that for the daily as well. Uh, we'll also toss another penguin in there for tomorrow's daily. I believe we get some Stigma back for that too. And Stigma right now is used for um, skill ups, which is just a fantastic thing right now. Just fantastic to be able to do that. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is actually go take a look at Elson here. So we need to complete 30 battles with the supporter and gift him Stigma. So help me, you want my Stigma? Um, I mean, I guess we have to do that. So we need 10 more battles with the supporter and then we get to recruit Elson instead of Aether, which is both very exciting and very sad for me because I really, really like Aether. Um, but I guess Elson is who it's going to be. Maps are really important too. Uh, if you look at the icons in the maps, I forgot to mention this earlier, but there's a couple important ones. One is the skull, which is a boss. Uh, two is this little handshake icon, which generally means there's no enemies there. Um, we also have this icon right here, which is going to be a lab, which means it's the one you control yourself and there's morale. And finally, the other most important one is going to be this icon here, which means there's a breath of Orbis there. So you want to chase those as fast as you can, and I'll be going straight there after I'm done 2-10. Okay, so finishing off chapter 2 is going to give me another 4-star artifact. Uh, I'm not sure what we're hoping for. Something awesome that we can use specifically. Um, Wondrous Potion would be fantastic. Um, also some more Covenant bookmarks, so we'll do that too. And what are we going to get? Uh, that's Water's Origin. Um, not bad. Don't plan to use that, unfortunately, with my team right now. Um, okay, so let's go do a couple more summons here. And I think we can get Elson now. Um, if we can't get Elson yet, it's going to be really close. Um, three more. Okay. Okay. Let's just do some summons, end the video here, and then we'll um, do some more pretty soon. Actually, we only have enough for one summon. That's pretty sad. <laughs> That's pretty sad. I don't even know what else we could get, um, to be honest here. Another Lena. I mean, that's actually pretty solid because that's going to get us an imprint on our Lena. Um, that's really, really funny. I guess we're going to start and end the episode the same way. Um, so we're going to get the imprint for her, which is pretty great. We also unlocked Abyss, so we get to go do a couple floors of Abyss. This is something you should be doing every single day. You get three entries and you get a ton of stuff from it, like an absolute boatload of stuff from uh, Abyss. It's where a lot of your gear is going to come from. You're going to get a bunch of Sky Stones. You're going to get a bunch of Awakening Materials. Okay. You're going to get a little bit of everything. Um, the first couple stages are really easy. You probably won't have a problem until... Um, I forget when I got stuck. I think the first time I got stuck was like 23 or 28 or something. But it really shouldn't be a problem now um, with the gear they give you in Adventures Path. So just clear through it, do three a day, get your gear, and uh, be happy. So we just picked up another Heart of Orbis here, or Breath of Orbis. It's going straight into Soul Isle Extension, no questions asked. Our next one will be heading right there too. We also, I believe, got enough to get our boy Elson, bringing him back from um, the start of the game. Pretty excited for this, and I hope he turns out okay. He did just get a buff recently, so um, that is great. Okay, so I actually farmed enough to buy a bookmark pack, so we're going to go do that really quick. If we go to shop, 
um, we can go to normal and then buy 50 Covenant bookmarks and 400 Stigma. Um, this is probably the best way to get bookmarks because Stigma is actually a good thing right now. I'm going to need it for uh, some skill ups in a little bit. Um, let's just summon some stuff. Honestly, I'm hoping for artifacts. I don't really want to change anybody on my team. Um, I can't really think of who I would personally add. I'm going to go on Covenants because it's more fun. Um, summoning just for Basara is less fun, but I just kind of want to summon. I'm pretty happy with what we have right now. Um, so what we are going to get is hopefully some artifacts to use. I would love some. Um, I really, really, really would love some. The dupe, Timeless Anchor. Something like a Wondrous Potion. Maybe uh, a Rod of Amaryllis would be pretty good. Um, I, I guess we'll see. I'm not sure what else we could use. Uh, it is an artifact. Most force... Okay, or I'll take a five-star artifact. Uh, what are we going for here? Bloody Rose. Was not expecting that. I forgot that's a thing right now. That is... Quite possibly the worst artifact I could have gotten. I, I don't think there's many worse artifacts than Bloody Rose right now. Um, that's kind of funny out of all the five stars to get. Uh, we're actually just going to sell that to the shop, I think. Uh, there's no way I'm using that. Uh, I actually wouldn't mind one of the other new characters that came just to try them out. Big. Then you won't feel sorry even if you can't make it, right? No. Not happening. Another character. One of the new ones that came out. I forget their names. Like, Batiste would be awesome. Um, just because he's I'm dark. I'm Hazel Stressa, Black Sheep, uh, I mean, clerk hmm. of the Student Council. This might actually be something I consider because I don't really have any fire units. That would help things out a lot. Um, but she's not too great until you awaken, or not awaken her, until you specially change her. And that's something I'm not going to be able to do. Um, random light and dark. Come on. Ooh, one of the new Bhutan. Hatan. Close. Only the strongest so what does this guy actually do? He's a fire thief. Uh, that's pretty cool. So he has a 50% chance to decrease hit for one turn. Fortunate to cast her speed. Um... Attacks the enemy with wind pressure and activates wind pressure again when an enemy is defeated. And regen releases energy to all allies, increasing attack for two turns before increasing speed of the caster for one turn. Or for two turns? For two turns. Okay, interesting. Um, I might actually use him just because I've never ever seen him used. I don't know whose spot he... Definitely not Sigrid. Definitely not Lena. It would have to be Leo, if anybody, so I'm not sure if that's worth it. Uh, maybe Lena is just somebody I shouldn't use because uh, she's been used so much. We, we, we've we seen her used before and we already have Secret. Um, I, I guess that's something I'll think over. Or maybe that's something you guys can tell me in uh, the comments, actually. I don't think there's any three-star artifacts I need except for Daydream Joker at this point. Um, okay, so that wasn't terrible. That was not terrible. Did we get any more bookmarks? We didn't. Um, so I'm actually gonna just go sell this to the shop. I am never using this. I don't recommend doing this. If this was my main account, I would 100% keep this. Um, but at this point, I'd rather have this 30 powder of knowledge and 12.5K um, to buy something else. So definitely don't do that as a um, as uh, somebody that is uh, what else do we send? Somebody that's actively playing on like a real account. Do not do that. Um, but let's see what's in the shop. Maybe we can buy something from the Powder of Knowledge. Um, oh, it's 60. It's 60, unfortunately. And there's nothing there anyway. All of these are horrible. So there is uh, no artifact we would want to buy. Elia's Knife wouldn't do us anything. Water's Origin, we just sold. Strat Gauntlet, I don't think is good at this stage of the game. And High Lab Lanks is kind of the same. Um... So we would be buying a bunch of artifact charms from that, which is fine. Better than that. Um, so anyways, let's end for now, and we'll see what happens later.